Hello everyone, welcome back to RT Robotics, and today we're taking a look at Warplanes World War One Fighters. This is a fantastic VR game that's just come out just yesterday uh, on the um, official Oculus Store. I've been playing this game on SideQuest for the last maybe week and a half. Um, the, that's just a demo version, so there's only so many missions that you can do and so many things that you can do, but this is the full version, so I thought we'd uh, take a look, quick look at it. Um, because we do do a bit a lot of flying on this channel. So here is your mode. You've got leisure, arcade, realistic, simulation, and real war. Real war and simulation are pretty much the same thing, other, other than your uh, head-up displays elements aren't there anymore. Realistic is almost the same as simulation, except for um, you can't stall. I prefer playing in realistic mode because it's almost impossible in simulation mode because the other... Um, the NPCs, the non-playable characters, if you like, uh, in the sky, the, the bots, they are flying in realistic mode, which means they don't stall and they can pull a lot tighter turns, but you do stall, so it's almost impossible to fight them in simulation mode. Simulation mode is very uh, fun, but we're going to go with realistic for now because, you know, we actually want to progress in the game and unlock things. Here we are, fantastic! Inside a little biplane bomber. I'm just going to recenter myself so a little bit lower in the cockpit. Take the off. So you have your instructions here on your little panel. So press throttle forward. We've already done that. Reach altitude of one kilometer to fly to mission. So here's our altitude, I think. So once that reaches one, we should be good. Yeah, all the guns and everything's interactive. And it's about to get extremely. Um, hostile in a second because yeah we're going after the Germans I think so there's my wingman that's a better view so here you got your throttle your uh, control stick with firing you can on this particular aircraft you can change the pitch of your gun You've got a rocket launcher gun, and also bombs, so you need to drop them, you can see. You can see where your bombs are going to end up. Oh, and I've just wasted one. So, our instructions are, destroy AA stations, destroy zeppelins, and destroy bombers. So, we need to locate the AA stations, there's the bombers. They're going to be coming after us in a second. Uh, the AA station's going to be around somewhere. But look at the graphics, this is fantastic. This game is, um, I don't even think it's one gig. But the, you know, the graphics are fantastic. And it was 14 99 so that's £15. Um, absolutely fantastic game. The amount of content you get, and you can play online as well, and the, uh, you know, the terrain graphics aren't amazing, but they're really not poor either. They're not, they're not crap. They're just not amazing. But it is only a Quest 2. Look at the, uh, you know, the detail on the cockpit. The detail on the other aircraft is fantastic. Coming up on this Zeppelin, we need to take him out the air. We're going to use our rocket launcher. Is he down? Get off me! Oh, we're taking damage. Hopefully he's going down. Nope, the Zeppelin has not been destroyed yet. Need to stay above his canopy so he can't shoot me. Or maybe he can because he's got luck, he's got a gun turret on the top. See if we can get the gun turret. That is one tough Zeppelin. Here's our AA stations. Flight leader down. And I'm dead. Abort mission. <laughs> wow. Right, let's try another quick play. Because each time you push quick play, another a completely new mission just comes up. Um, other than campaign. So it just sort of randomly selects missions for you. Looks like we've got the same mission, just a night cycle now. I haven't played in a night cycle before. It's extremely dark. So... Finally airborne. 
Wow. There's the moonlight. How do we get back to the main menu? Stall or crash the aircraft? Alright, so we can change our aircraft with that button there. the main menu. Um, seems the only way you can get back to the main menu is if you crash. Bye-bye. We suffered heavy losses. So a there is a bug that the uh, developers might need to work on. Maybe just like a little selection menu where you can get back to the main menu. Because um, it didn't really, you know, for the purposes of the video, we don't really want a night time. Because you can't really see a lot. So maybe if we go to campaign... And we'll go to Central Powers. And this is the uh, main lobby, so you can choose your missions. Uh, over here you can um, select different planes and different mission loadouts. Here is my two aircraft and my colour scheme, so we've got a Fokker DR1. Uh, sorry, they're both Fokker DR3s actually. Um, and yeah, there's the two colour schemes, so I've got that one. And I've got that one. And you can change your colour scheme, change all your logos and your your libraries up here and your little paint scheme. We've also got multiplayer, a plane shop. You can buy all these. Uh, Fokker DR3, B, Fokker DR1, DR2. All these aircraft and obviously I imagine we're going to be unlocking a few more once we progress through the game. So let's take out the little Fokker DR3 and just fly a little quick mission and show you it's like. Wow. I haven't flown in this since I put the new paint scheme on it. I like that. Wow. Should we take off? We got bombs, we got rockets. Eight, ro eight bombs and five rockets. And we're a German plane now. We're up in the air. We need to once again climb to one kilometer to start the mission. So if you don't climb up to one kilometer, you can just sort of fly around and get your hand of the. Uh... So there's my other plane. Wow, Look at the city down there. Look at that water. I mean, for a game that's not even. I think it was 780 megabyte. I might be wrong with that. Don't hold me to that, but I don't remember it being a big, bigger than one gig. And look at that. Fantastic, with mo online multiplayer as well. $14.99. The action starts almost straight away. And you get, you can take these head-up displays off, obviously, in uh, real war mode. So you don't know where the actual enemy is. Looks like we've got some anti-aircraft flak going on up there. So what is our actual objective? Project the town FAA defenders. So we've already done something wrong. We've gone away from the town. Let's get towards the town again. Destroy bombers, uh, zero of four. Destroy fighters, three of eight. Destroy all enemies. That must mean there's a few surprises on the ground as well. So as you can hear, that's the air raid siren going off in the town there because 
There's dog fighting going on above the town. That is spooky. Got anti aircraft. failed mission failed mission critical target was destroyed well what a fantastic game i think i'm going to have to do some uh, practicing because i'm not very good at the uh, piloting and dogfighting at the moment but um yeah i'm really excited to try multiplayer so i'll try that out and maybe i'll get a uh, a little live stream going maybe one day and um yeah i've got a few friends that have got quest too so we'll get a little little squadron going so uh, this is another thing that you can also do. You can walk around the hangars, walk around the planes, inspect them. Um, just fantastic, yeah. Absolutely amazing game for the price and, yeah, you know, everything, the size of the game so it doesn't take up too much memory on your device. Absolutely fantastic value for money. Um, I highly, highly recommend buying this game. You will not be disappointed. So thank you very much for joining us today at RC Robotics. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just up there in the corner and if you'd like to see any more of my videos i'll pop one down here and another just down here thank you very much and i'll see you again very very soon bye bye